Hello everyone, welcome to instrumentation tools. So let's open the app quiz meter. In the previous video, we have seen the true or false statement in the PLC. You know, uh, this quiz zone is having the PLC domain, right? There we have seen the PLC true or false. Level 1 we have crossed and today we are going to see the level 2. So let's see the first question. Structured text in PLCs is the high level programming language resembling Pascal or C. So a structured text is the one of the programming language. So PLC is having the five programming language in that structured text is one of the programming language. So yes. It is a high level programming language used in PLC and that is similar to C and C or Pascal. It allows for complex expression and control structures making it suitable for advanced programming task. So the answer to the question is true. It's a high level programming language. So let's move on to the second one. A rack or chases is used in a PLC to organize and house various module. So a PLC should have a housing. Correct. So for that housing, a rack or chases will help. So in many PLC system, a rack or chases is used to organize and house various modules. So we will be having a two type of PLC, one is integrated, another one is modular. So for modular kind of PLCs, we need a chassis kind of setup. And even for the integrated kind of PLC, we have to keep it in a rack. So it is must for the PLC to house for the housing purpose. So housing various modules, including the CPUs, IVO modules, power supply and other others. The rack provides mechanical support, uh, kind of alignment and connectivity, ensuring that the modules are properly positioned and interconnected. So modular PLCs often use rack to enable flexibility and expandability, allowing modules to be added and replaced easily to adapt to changing needs or configuration. So because of this rack and changes only, we can able to do all these you know, requirements. So the answer to the question is true. So third one, a functional block diagram in a PLC is primarily used for data storage and retrieval. So as a structured text, you know, functional block diagram is also one of the language. So it is not only, you know, for the primarily used for data storage and retrieval. It is a graphical language used in a PLCs for designing control algorithm by connecting different function blocks. So the answer to the question is false. So it is a programming language used to make the control logics, not for the storage and retrieval. So the answer is false. So fourth question. Communication module in the PLC are optional and only used for remote control and networking. So that provide a connectivity for the remote control, networking and data sharing. While not required for the basic standalone control and all. So the answer to the question is actually true. Let's move to the next question. Sequential function chart is a PLC programming language that visualizes the sequence of operation in the process. So the answer to the question is yes, because it is one of the programming language where you can visualize the sequence in terms of, you know, uh, uh, it will be having the flow of control and it's often used in the complex process control application. So ladder logic means it will be having a rung kind of structure, right? So sequential function chart will be having the flow chart kind of structure. 
you can able to see where the flow is exactly currently in so that it is easy for understanding where we are or where we got struck so it's easy for troubleshooting also so the answer to the question is yes let's move on to the sixth question instruction list is a is a plc programming language that is written in a graphical and intuitive format so the answer to the question is actually false why because instruction list is a low level text based language so what they have given is graphical so it is not a graphical but rather resembles the assembly language which can understand by the computer not by you know you know if you give the code to the operator the operator cannot able to understand the low level text based programming language so the answer to the question is actually a false so the seventh question ladder logic is the only programming language used in plc system so as we have already discussed there are five programming language along with ladder logic but ladder logic is one of the widely used language among the plc programmers so it is visually similar to the electrical relay logic diagram making it more accessible to electrical engineers and technicians so it is one of the language but not only so the answer to the question is false So let's move on to the eighth question. I/O addressing in a PLC refers to the specific location of the input or output in the system memory. So I/O addressing in the PLC refers to the specific location or identifiers of an input output in the system memory. This addressing scheme allow the PLC's control program to assess and manipulate the corresponding signals accurately and efficiently. So because of those addressing only you can able to identify the sensor's exact address so that you can write the logic for the sensors. Okay this is where I connected the you know pressure switch so that then only I can able to involve that pressure switch in my logic. this is the addressing of the pressure switch when this turns on turn this valve kind of you can write the logic no for that this addressing will be helpful and the specific location matters so the answer to the question is true so the ninth question battery backup in the plc is used to power the system in case of the main power supply main power fail sorry main power failure so the battery will be there in the plc but not exactly for the you know backup for the main power failure so a battery backup in a plc is typically used to maintain the volatile memory content such as registers timers counters in case of the main power failure it is not generally designed to power the entire system or maintain normal operation during the power outage so it is used to store the data until the power comes back okay it will resume the operation with a minimal disruption or the data loss when the power is restored so the answer to the question is false so we have the last question here a plc Uh, sorry a hmi is an integral part of every plc system so a hmi is a separate device and a plc is a separate device so it cannot be the integral part of every plc system a plc is a separate you know uh, make you know you can come uh, it can come with many manufacturers right siemens uh, allen bradley and all like that hmi is also another device from the different manufacturer so it is essential component for the plc system because in shop floor if you want to you know change something you can make use of this hmi to talk with the plc but it is not integral part it it doesn't hmi doesn't come with the plc so the answer to the question is false so we are done with all 10 questions let's 
see the score yes we cracked another 10 set of questions so you can review the answers we can review all the answers here we having the notes for all the questions and you can move to the next level let's see this in another video and you can able to share your score with your friends so kindly like and subscribe our channel for more videos like this i'll meet you in the next session for the level 3 thank you